Hey everyone, let's place him into the breach. So, well, it's time for us to move on over and encounter this hive leader. So let's do that. Some kind of Vec abomination is approaching our headquarters. Ooh, I see it there. It's purple. Whatever it is, it must be stopped. All right. Vec threat detected. Destroy the Firefly leader. Protect the corporate town. Firefly leader? Well, I didn't know this was a Last of Us uh, crossover, but I'll do it. All right. So here's the big baddie with a bajillion health. Was that seven health? And here's some not so strongies. All right, so I'll put this here, uh, this here, and this here, and let's do it. Hundreds of people are in those buildings. Make sure they stay standing. Well, I can't promise anything. All right. When confronted with new enemies, be sure to learn about their abilities. Hold down left control while hovering over units to examine them. Right. Um, okay. Well, let me do it this way. So, he's massive. Invigorating spores. He's doing what this jerk does. And then... You can't knock him into the water to kill him. Booming, or burning thorax. Launch goo projectiles in two directions. So yeah, so he is... Attacking... Both ways. Interesting. Alright. So, I think the play here is... Okay. Let me think about this. I might walk down here and punch and get rid of this guy first. Just to weaken all the hit points of the enemies. And then... Um, I'm going to move down here with Legolas and just shoot this guy away so he's now hitting the mountain and his buddy and then um, Collateral can go What I kind of want to do is try to push this guy. Now, nah, there's no way to push him where he's not going to hit either me or a building, I don't think. No, oh, I don't want to do that move. That's a bad one. Um... Actually, I'm going to move here and have him hit uh, Tyson instead, you know, of Legolas. And so what we'll do is we'll shoot back here. Oh, he's not shooting far. Oh, perfect. Well, then he's doing nothing now. Okay. Let's pass. All right, so they're moving around, causing all kinds of problems, the usual. All right, three turns remaining. So really, we just need to survive. It'd be a nice bonus to kill this guy, but um, all right. I definitely want to try to hit this tile that Legolas is on with um, my buddy. 
collateral. So let's move Legolas down to here and knock one guy into another. Shoot here. Do a little setup. And then we can do this and fire here. Well, that's going to hit me, though. All right, so I got to take that back. Um, honestly, I was just going to move this guy here to block. Um, but there is the possibility that I just move around. Well, I probably don't want the building to get hit. So what I can do is move up here and punch and then have um, collateral go here and separate these dudes. Yeah. Seems like the best play in terms of protecting the civilians. Uh, okay, and then you can shoot here. Attack canceled. So now this this dude will still hit um, Ralph in Tyson, but only for one. And now this is going to get hit by the spawn, prevent the spawn. Okay. All right. No problem. It's got me. Yeah, it does, but we're going to be okay. And we're going to be okay because um, I think if you just shoot at this guy, you'll kill him and then bump this dude. The only thing we have to worry about is this guy. So let's think about this. Can anyone... Yeah, okay, so I think Steve... I'm sorry, Tyson can punch this guy and kill it. And then Collateral can come over here and knock this guy down. And then if we just bump this, we should be good. We kill the leader. Don't focus on the promotion, Zhang. Put that experience to good use. Man, what kind of a buzzkill? It's like we just killed the Vec leader and he's busting his chops about not being excited about his own promotion. Come on, Ralph. You're better than that. All right. Let's move over here. And then... Ralph, how far can you move? Ah. Unfortunately, if I move here, I will get shot by this dude. You know what? Maybe he just takes a damage and then Ralph just kills... I mean, I'm sorry. Collateral just kills this guy. I could push him on here and then he dies. Um, I do lose the experience from doing that. But it makes next round even easier. So let's just do that. Let's just fire here. Wait, wait, wait. When does this happen? Now, let's kill him because I don't want him to get his shot off. The whole point is to just make it so he can't shoot. So let's kill this dude. And then you can just move up here and end that guy. I love that. I can't believe it. Um, and we're good. We're going to get hit, but only for one, right? All right. We got dudes emerging. You want to try to attack the building? I'm going to tell you right now that you're ruined because of my good buddy Collateral. All right. Although it's not, a, it's never as easy as it seems. Um, and what I mean by that is I want to hit this to push these guys It'll stop him from hitting the building, but he'll hit this building instead. And then I can't kill this guy without Tyson, like, punching this dude into a building or into my own person. Um, right. 
but he's not hitting a building. So if we move out of the way of him, we don't need, he's not a priority to kill. So I can move like here and then fire here. Like this. And then I can use Legolas to come over here and shoot this guy up to then combo with Ralph. Who can then punch this guy and kill him. And now nobody's getting hit. It's dead. All right. They broke the mountain. That's embarrassing. The Vec may run, but they won't get far. Mission complete. We protect the corporate tower. We destroyed the Firefly leader and we saved a thousand people. And Legolas got his promotion. With the Vec abomination destroyed, no new hives should appear on our island. You've saved us. Um. Oh, we got a plus one mech reactor. Um. So the region is secured. So this is what Rick was talking about, that we were wondering if maybe we could get into these bluish purple areas. Um, but no, they're just always gone. So some of my suspicions about the game are true, which it seems to be like you're just um, mitigating losses or you know doing damage control. You're not getting these sweeping victories with no casualties that's just not going to happen like these three sections of the island are just lost um but we did get seven reputation points and let's see how we spend that um so we can purchase equipment or we could donate weapons and pilots for reputation um i don't think i'm at the point where i want to donate any of my things um, what is this? This is a reactor core. Repair damage to your power grid. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Um, that's hilarious. Grab a unit and toss it behind you. Um, so I think I probably want to buy everything, including a reactor core. But do I want to repair damage to the power grid? Yeah, probably, right? All right, and then let's just choose some of these that we want. So I certainly want this. I want this and I want this. There we go. That'll do. All right. So we can now leave the island. By completing one island, you've unlocked RST Corporation. In future games, you will be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Hmm. So it is kind of like FTL in that you... There's a random approach. The first time you do certain things, you unlock the option to change the sequencing. I can't go to these islands, for example. But I can go to RST Corporation. Terraforming specialists. RST turned the environment against the Vec and nearly destroyed the island in the process. Wah, wah. It's kind of like when they uh, scorched the sun in the Matrix. So let's see here. Don't think for a moment I'm falling for the time traveler stories, but your mechs, they are undeniably impressive. Ooh, this lady is, she's one tough customer. All right, so we can go to any of these now. They're really opening it up so we can choose which mission we would like to engage. And that is what we will do in the next episode. So everyone, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Into the Breach in 2020. We cleared the first island, beat the boss of, of the Vec, and now we're on our second island. We've got some cool upgrades um, that we can tinker with 
uh, we can, for example, um, spend a mech core on some of these people. So Legolas has um, one power that he can use, and we can give him some movement or some health. I really think he needs health. It's interesting that he leveled up but did not get... Um, what, what I was looking for. Oh, I have to actually have to equip the passive. I didn't realize that. And then I have to power it to even make it work. Good lord. Um, Alright. I have to power all this stuff to make it work, so... No, boosters just works. Alright. Fantastic. I think I need to upgrade his core just so I can equip this. Um so that I don't lose any of these pilots because I've already leveled them up. All right. So I've got no cores. And everybody's got something equipped. All right. Now I will end the episode now that I've outfitted my mechs. I just don't want to forget to do that next time I boot up the game and go into a battle without that done. So everyone, I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Into the Breach. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, could you please do so? I'd really appreciate it, and I think you'll find a lot of cool games on display here. We've got a wide variety, and I'm always looking to take suggestions, comments, and feedback. If uh, you'd be willing to post something, I'd love to read it. All right, everybody. Take care.